Part 43 of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Last time we pretty much foiled the Omerita's plans of the Gamora really, really easily. But actually, what I want to do here is have both of these guys wait here. The reason being, I don't want them to accidentally hit the artillery shells or do anything else stupid. Now, Boone would probably be okay down here, I'll admit that. But... Yeah, Boone would probably be helpful down here, but Eddie is too risky because he already basically uses energy weapons. And I'd rather just not risk him accidentally, like, hitting something, because they all pretty much explode when you shoot them with uh, energy weapons and stuff. So there's quite a few ants down here, but the Sonic Emitter is a better way of taking him out. Uh, we're going to grab the 308s, and actually, just for almost like a little extras part, in, once we finish this quest, I'm going to show you guys what happens if you actually shoot one of those exploding things, or use like a missile launcher or something dangerous. I want to try to finish the quest first, though, because it might even happen accidentally. There's a ton of gear down here that you're going to want to take, though. The 5 millimeters are excellent for... Two different weapons, the minigun and the assault carbine. A mini nuke there, but we don't really need that because I don't have any intentions of actually having a fat man because it's it's not really all that useful. I'd rather just have a missile launcher because the missiles are a lot easier to come by than mini nukes are. They're a lot less expensive as well. So personally, I don't really suggest taking the fat man in this game unless you want to use it for, you know like challenges or trophies or whatever. Okay, those are hit. Now the ants are going to be pissed, aren't they? Uh, where's the ant cluster? Egg. Ooh, okay. Let's see what I have to do, actually. I, I'm kind of curious as to what I have to do. On the ant mound. Hmm, I gotta find that. Oh, actually, that's a unique weapon, the Thump Thump. That's a unique weapon. Uh, how do I activate it? Hmm, what do I have to do to activate it? Yeah, Thump Thump is a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. It's, it's not bad, I just don't really like those weapons that much. Yeah, now that's how it's done. Killed all the ants without having to do, like, anything. Get a ton of XP for it, too, which is actually really cool. So that's absolutely worth doing. Hit that switch. Easy quest. Very easy quest. I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. It's just a very easy side quest. However, I did promise you guys to show you what would happen if you shoot stuff down here. So we're gonna save so that I don't have to repeat anything, but this way you guys can see exactly what happens when you shoot a giant exploding object. So here's a tutorial. Oh hey, look, I've come down and do this ammunition bay. What's down here? Ammunition, yay, lots of ammunition. Ooh, what is this thing? And what are these things? Huh? What are they? Ooh, they look big and fun. Let's see what happens if I shoot it. Yeah, that's what happens if you shoot it. That's why I didn't want to bring Boone or Eddie down here and why I wanted to use a shotgun. Yeah, that's what happens if you shoot one of those things. So, I don't suggest doing it, because I don't think there's any way to survive it. I've even tried, like, throwing a grenade and then closing the door on it, and I don't think that works either. So, yeah, I just thought I'd show that and just show you guys what happens. Obviously, that wouldn't count as a death if I was tracking deaths. I've only died... I've died twice during this project, and they were both earlier on with those stupid lake lurks, right around the time that I ended up uh, resetting or restarting the game when I deleted the game data and stuff. Yeah, that doesn't count as like a real death. But that was still fun to watch. I made myself explode. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go. Uh, how far away is she? 
let's just transit back to the Air Force Base. It's faster, probably. Actually, it probably isn't, now that I think about it, but oh well. So yeah, that was a really easy quest. I don't know why I didn't just do it earlier. I guess for some reason I thought it was harder than that. But hey, it's it's done now, and it'll be easy XP. Maybe a little extra reward. I don't know. Hey, don't you shoot me. You idolize me, don't you? You've done us a great service. Thank you for your help. Then why are you still pointing a missile launcher at my head? Yerks. I just killed all the ants down there. Well, technically, Loyal's thing killed them all, but... I helped by putting it there and stealing your grenade launcher and stuff. You can find the dead boomers down there as well, but there's just no real point of scavenging them in my opinion, at least not right now. Okay, let's talk to her. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead. Maybe Pearl is right. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the ch Boomers fame gained. Quest complete and a lot of XP. Not bad, not too bad. So now that we have done that very short, easy quest, uh, I say that we head into, yeah, we'll do Honest Hearts first, but I wanna go ahead and finish up this section of the quest. So let's travel over to Hoover Dam and see what our next quest is gonna be. There is possibly one other there, I believe there are three more parts of this quest, either two or three. One's going to have to do with Mr. House, and one's going to have to do with the Brotherhood of Steel. There may be one more part that we'll have to deal with the other major casino that we haven't dealt with, the Ultra Lux. I can't remember. It's the White Glove Society. That's it. That's who goes there. So we may have to deal with them, but that may not be with this faction. You may only have to deal with them as, like, Independent and Mr. House, but I guess... No way, I think you do have to deal with them. Crap, I think you do for the Legion at least as well. So that's like three factions. So I would assume you have to deal with them with the NCR. So let's go see what she's got us doing next. Luckily that one though, you pretty much like don't have to do anything. If I remember correctly, you can sort of just skip through it. I guess in that case, I could probably just murder everybody if I really wanted to. Because that would, might almost be easier. Great cons are extremely tough. Don't expect them to go down easily, except I wiped out the entire Red Rock Canyon in like ten, in like 15 minutes. Real life minutes. Have you discovered what the um Ah, uh, the Amaters were up to something big, but I stopped them. Excellent. You'd think living in the lap of luxury and power would be... But we have other problems. While investigating the Amer... Evidence suggests that Mr. House is planning to make some kind of move. While we don't know what his exact plans are, my orders are to take no risks. Oh. To name a few things off the top of my head, expand his borders, get the NCR and Legion to wipe and he Ah, uh, what evidence do you have? We've had reported sightings of Mr. House's Securitron spying on both NCR and... Also, given a recent analysis of the sightings, we now estimate... He wouldn't show his hand like that if he weren't prepared to move. And neither the NCR or Legion can spare the... Which is why I'm sent... Perhaps, but that's not my problem. Vegas is a nice place for the men to go on vacation, but it'd be an acceptable loss. Okay. Good. Then you have your orders. See the... Well, I don't know if I 100% agree with that. But it is your... It's what you were asking me to do. So we can go ahead and do this, actually. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. There's nothing wrong with this quest. This one's actually pretty short, so we might as well go ahead and do it now. Then, after we complete this section of the quest, before we go talk to the Brotherhood of Steel, we'll go ahead and do Honest Hearts, because the Brotherhood of Steel are going to require us to do a lot of work to end up being idolized by them and allowing them to have an alliance with the NCR. So, because there's a lot to do in that, we're going to hold off and doing it until a little bit later. Probably what I'm going to end up doing is, after completing this section, we will do Honest Hearts, come back, complete the Brotherhood of Steel quest and potentially the Repcon quest, the Come Fly With Me quest. Potentially do that one as well, just because it's still on the list. Then we'll head off to Old World Blues before basically finishing out the last couple parts of the main quest. And that'll be it for Fallout New Vegas. And I'll make some saves for myself to go in and pretty much do whatever I want in free playing, refill my house with random stuff that I steal, Probably just turn on both the NCR and the Legion on that section of a file. Well, then again, no, 
though I lose Boone, so... Eh, I can just get Lily or Arcade. Actually, Ganon would probably be happy if I did that, but then again, since we're doing uh, For All Length Sin, we can't do that. For All Length Sign, I can't remember how that's exactly pronounced, and crap, I think I'm going to need a really high science skill, if I remember correctly, so... I may not have enough to do this section of the quest. I need to check. Uh, shoot. Let's see what happens. I don't know if this is the best weapon to be using against Securitrons. It's not quite as powerful, or, I mean, it doesn't do as much uh, armor piercing, but at least it's good close range. Though, obviously, we're going to trade the other Securitron lady for one of our snow globes that we have stolen. Where to, partner? Well, technically, that one wasn't counted as stolen, though. So let's head up to the penthouse, and we're going to kill off Mr. House next time. Nope, guys, don't worry, it's not next time. We're going to go ahead and try to do that in this video. That would be a lot of progress done in just two videos. I don't know if, we might, if we'll be able to do it, though, because there is other stuff we have to do. Mr. Uh... Snow globe? There's still one more snow globe, but it's all the way up in Jacobstown, and that's just You're always too freaking far away. I'm sorry, but Jacobstown is too freaking far away. This is going to piss off the Securitrons. Oh, crap. Because of that, I am going to need something with a little more punch. Uh, crap, I don't know what to use. I need something with a lot of power. Plasma rifle wouldn't be a bad choice. Now, keep in mind, though, now they have far better weapons because I, stupidly enough, upgraded them earlier in the game just so I could get money out of it. So I blame myself for that. But now that we're killing them in bats, we actually get some additional... Uh, that is exactly what I was worried about. That was what I was worried about. But actually we did not end up needing the high science skill, which is really, really good. Okay, let me check and see what I need to do right now. Okay, my combat armor is still in decent shape. That's good. Uh, my plasma rifle and has lost a bit of condition, and I've taken a fair amount of damage, so let's see what I can eat to heal up a little bit. And a single stim bag might not be a bad idea. So, let's activate the terminal. Unseal the chamber. Come on out, Mr. House. He's creepy looking, too. I'm going to admit that. He is really weird. I mean, I guess it's because he's been in there for like 250 years. Yeah, he's very creepy looking. Why? The NCR asked me to get rid of you. Oh, shit. Uh... You won't be able to control anything, but I'll let you live. Eh. I'd rather just kill you. That's that's easier. And I'm going to execute you with Benny's gun, something that he would have wanted me to do. Wahaha. Wow. That took way too many shots. That took me like ten shots. That's embarrassing. And I I don't want to jump down there because I have a feeling it would kill me. I'm letting all the quests finish up right now. A tragedy has befallen mankind. Yep, that's actually quite true. He was a good person. He didn't need to die, but oh well. Yep, yeah, he's 261 years old. CEO of uh, Robco Industries, which is kind of interesting. Hey, we're not all going to die because of it.
Ah, super mutants and feral ghouls can, technically. <laughs> That's kind of funny. There's actually some pretty funny things in there. And some interesting things to read about in there. Ah, we'll rise and finish this up later. I've set the age of death at death to update automatically. Obit makes salient points. Daddy zone zoom. Wow. Okay, that's done. Let's keep moving. Now we have to somehow get out of here. But if I remember correctly, they may actually not turn on you once you kill him. I hope that's true because that was quite a bit painful. They hurt me pretty badly before because I upgraded them. Ah, they are no longer hostile because they are stupid and I am not and I forgot to scavenge this. Scrap metal. I don't need that. I may actually still be able to trade with the uh, female Securitron if I ever want to find that last snow globe because we might actually head up there later in the game. The recent oh, never mind. Has been resolved. Ah, she's dead. Oh well. Nah, it was 2,000 caps, but whatever. I mean, seriously, it's not a big deal. Alright, guys. Let's go. Let's keep moving, guys. So now, that was quite easy. We did quite a bit in this video, so we made a lot of progress in, in just like two videos. So, like I said, we still have a few more side quests that we want to do outside of it. And actually, there is another one that we've already actually done a lot of work on that I'm probably going to start as well. Because we've already done the majority of the work for it by killing off already like two of the three Fiends leaders. So we may actually start that one up as well just because it's really easy. But we still got to do Come Fly With Me for all of Lang's sign, Bleed Me Dry, and guess who I saw today? Guess who I saw today we have to do to do for all of Lang's sign? And like I said, there's that other quest like I just said we can do just because. I mean, if we've already done most of it inadvertently, we might as well just finish it for the purpose of XP and rewards. Probably go talk to them next in-game day or so. Let's head down the elevator. But yeah, this is actually... Now that I... Once I got done with the... The uh, part with pretty much having to, you know, restart the game to get everything to work right again. Really, this has been going by a lot faster than I ever sort of expected it to. So, I mean, that's a good thing, that it's gone by pretty fast. That's always good. And, I mean, I, I will be ready eventually for another project pretty soon. I mean, at the time this is being recorded, RE4 is almost over, and she's not in here. Great. Yeah, she probably didn't expect me to get done so fast. Report, isn't it? I killed him. Then that's one more nuisance we won't have to worry about. Good. The brass have been throwing around the idea of having the president visit the deck. With our recent achievements, they finally feel secure enough to stage the damn thing. Several years ago, we managed to wrest the Helios One solar power station from the Brotherhood of Steel chapter. It was a crushing victory, but no one's heard a peep from the Brotherhood since. Most people... Recently, we've had scouts go missing in an area west of Helios, and I'm cons... I want you to find them, and once you do, finish them for... Is there no peaceful way to resolve this? That's actually not true. There Don't is a peaceful way. Any Brotherhood survivors likely harbor a deep grudge. Any other objection? A fair question, and one I've had our strategists think about for some time. That, with the Brotherhood, that's their obsessive attachment to tech. I'm willing to bet that wherever they're hiding, there's a working rate. Detonate that reactor, and we can safely cross the Brotherhood off our list. I thought they were all wiped out. After the battle, we consolidated our... It was a mistake, to be sure, but there wasn't really any place for them to go. When we finally gave chase, some of our people think they had some means of conveyance, like the vertebrates the Enclave used, and hype. I think that they found some place to hide close to Helios, and... Let's move. All right. Download complete. Ooh, yes. Begin recording. Navarro outpost scientist, I am glad that EDE has reached you. You will find several data banks. Please 
Please handle this information with the utmost care as it represents the sum total of the... There are also several data banks with information on my research into Poseidon Energy and some product. Okay, that was Eddie's second dialogue. And within a few more in-game days, we will actually receive messages from a couple of factions asking us to pretty much let them have Eddie for a few days so that they can tinker with him and... It'll actually end up being kind of good for you because... Actually, it'll end up... It's his associated side quest that boosts his abilities. You can get him either advanced weapons or better armor. So, yeah, it's, it's not a big deal at all. It's not a bad deal, at least. But, guys, that's a good stopping point for this video. So, next time... I'm not exactly sure what I want to do next. I'm not sure if I want to start up Honest Hearts just yet. I guess we'll know next time, so see you then.